Well, Florida-based Core.ai, which is a company developing enterprise-focused conversational AI and Gen AI products, recently raised $150 million in a funding round led by FTV Capital, NVIDIA and others. And that brings its total capital raised to date to about $223 million. This latest funding is going to help accelerate its market expansion and innovation in AI. So joining me now to tell us more about the company and this latest funding is Raj Koneru, the co-founder and CEO of Core AI. Raj, thanks very much for your time here on Startup Street uh, and thanks for joining us. Uh, if you could start by telling us, uh, you know, very briefly what Core AI does in this rather competitive field of AI and what your value proposition really is. We are an enterprise AI company, so we help uh, enterprises take advantage of all the advancements in AI technology by providing them platforms and solutions to take the underlying you know, innovation that's happening and apply the, their use cases on top of the technology to get the benefits of AI. So who would you say are your typical clients, the use cases and what the size of the market is that you're hoping to capture? We have large customers like large banks, like, you know, Deutsche Bank, Citibank, uh, Morgan Stanley, PNC Bank, other customers like eBay and uh, various other customers in the in the communication world like uh, Charter Communications, IDFC Bank, and so on and so forth. We provide no-code tools and platforms and solutions to help these customers uh, be able to take advantage of AI and add automation to different use cases. Okay, but tell us about this large $150 million funding that you've got. Uh, and, you know, NVIDIA, of course, has been one of the investors. They've been an active investor in the AI space. Is there more to this investment? Are they looking at some sort of, sort of a strategic partnership? Well, I mean, uh, this round was put together to help us grow the business as we have been growing it over the last uh, several years. We've been growing over 100% per year over the last several years. So much of this uh, money is going to go towards, you know, working capital, investing in sales and marketing and product development. This may end up being our last round of funding. Uh, we're growing very, very rapidly. And uh, the money that we've raised is going, going to strengthen the company to go to the next level as we go forward. Raj, I'll pick up on that. What do you mean you don't need capital? Do you mean private capital? And if that's the case, are you eyeing the public markets? We don't need any more private capital, I believe. I mean, I think we are at a stage where we could potentially do an IPO in the next uh, two or three years, depending on market conditions and depending on you know whether we are ready to become a public company or not. Our focus right now is to gain market share over the next uh, few years and uh, strengthen as a company before we consider an IPO. Okay, let's get back to the capital then. How do you plan to deploy this exactly? I mean, what sort of expansion are you eyeing for the business, even the headcount for that matter? Well, when you grow over 100% a year, you have working capital needs to be able to bridge the cash flows. So that's one of the primary uh, purposes of uh, this round of funding. We are all the way in Japan and Korea and the Far East, as well as in India and Southeast Asia. Uh, we're also growing in the Middle East and South America. So the expansion of our, our uh, presence in each of these markets is important to us. And the second uh, element is product development. Well, Raj, you've said you're growing very fast at 100% or so over the last several years. But give us a sense of what kind of revenue and profit growth you're generating currently and if this kind of growth rate is going to sustain. Well, we're north of 100 million in uh, annual recurring revenue. And uh, we're close to become, becoming cash flow positive as a company. So we expect to continue to grow at a very high rate over the next few years. I mean... 100% uh, is not out of the out of the question if we can uh, execute really well, and we we are focused on improving our profitability over the next few years and getting to be a steady state profitable company generating 32, 35% in EBITDA. So, you know, as this market develops, we find ourselves in a great position. We've been rated as the number one leader by various analysts in their reports, by people like Gartner, Forrester, IDC, and others. And uh, using that position and using this, these funds and using the products and solutions that we have, we believe that 
we can become multiple fold our size over the next couple of years. Well, thanks very much, Raj. That's all the time we had today, but we wish you all the very best and hope to speak to you very soon. Thank you. Well, that's core.ai.